All right, today we are tying a Crazy Charlie. This is a SL45, Gamagatsu SL45 hook in size six. And first we're gonna start our thread, wrap halfway down the hook shank, and we're gonna wrap halfway back up. So really we're gonna be a quarter of the way down the hook shank. I'm going to put in a dumbbell eye, do some cross wraps, and we're going to bring our thread all the way down to about the bend of the hook. And I'm going to grab some fishing line, and I'm going to tie in with a few wraps just to capture that onto the hook shank. I'm going to grab some flashaboo. This is saltwater size flashaboo. And I'm going to capture that on. And then we're going to wrap up the hook shank right up to where the eyes are. And I'm going to wrap around our flashaboo. And come back up one more time. And that gives a lot of pearl flash to this fly. And then we want to just do couple wraps to cinch it down. Make sure that's in tight. And then we're going to start on our line. So the line's a little tricky to get started. The fishing line is just, it's, it, you know, they're, it's a very rigid material. It doesn't want to bend. It doesn't want to be manipulated. You kind of got to keep your fingernail on it to get it started. Make sure it doesn't start going down the hook shank in the direction you don't want it to go. So every once in a while you get too much space and you can just kind of push back with your fingernail. Once you reach the the eyes. Go ahead and capture that. And then you want to bring up the, the line, cross over the eyes again, and then capture it one more time on, on this side. Cut off your excess. And then flip your hook. Next, we're going to tie in our synthetic fiber. You want to measure out your fiber uh, a little past the, the hook, uh, the bend of the hook is about a good length. Okay, and then you want to make sure and Paper the end a bit. I'm not sure if you could have seen that. Um, so you want to taper the end. Make sure it's not it's not square like that end. And get get it looking a little more like a shrimp head, as you can see. Nice and tapered. Then you do want to square off the other end. So go ahead and square that off. Pinch it with your fingers. And tie that in to the, to the end of the hook, right by the, the eye. You want to split that on either side of your, of your hook. And then cinch that down real good. Once that's cinched down, you want to grab a Sharpie. I'm using a bronze color, 
uh, you can use brown, uh, pink, what, you know, whatever color uh, you so choose, just be creative with it. Uh, you want to pull tight and then mark each side with some bands. There we go. I'm going to take my crystal flash material. I'm going to pull out two strands. And then I'm going to double it on itself, cut it, and then double it again. Um, I'm going to attach that in about halfway down the, the ends of the, the flash. And then double it on itself. And attach it. Then just go ahead and cover that up. Build up a small head. Doesn't need to be too big. And then you can whip finish. Now, you can decide whether you want to epoxy the head. You can also just put some super glue, a little dot of super glue, that'll keep it um, together. Uh, but I do choose to epoxy. I'm going to use this uh, um, solar res, um, and it works great. Um, it's a uh, UV curing epoxy. Just a small little, little dab of it. And this is the thin, this is the thin stuff, it's not the thick. And then you want to grab your bodkin and make sure it's evenly distributed around the hook shank. Let that sit for a minute, spin it, make sure it's covered evenly on both sides, nice and smooth. And then go ahead and start UV curing. Just a few seconds. And that's hard. There we go. That is the crazy Charlie.